Ah, the engineer. The only class in TF2 where you can just win by doing nothing. Most of the time. I do like playing as an engineer, even though I may medic. So to show my admiration for this specific class, I will be recreating the level 1 sentry using SketchUp. This may become a series, maybe, hopefully, where I will recreate most of TF2 buildings and weapons. That also means all of the engineer's building. Oh boy, this is going to be a tiring one. Looking at the details of the sentries are quite intimidating since I'm also a student still trying to learn using SketchUp efficiently. So let's begin. I start off by opening the game and screenshot the sentries from a different angle. I went to training mode since I can just no clip and see the details underneath. Took a few screenshots and imported into SketchUp. Making the top part isn't really difficult since it's basically two basic shapes combined. A cylinder for the body and a rectangle box with a rounded edge. Of course there are details, which are the difficult part of these builds. FYI, I was basically eyeballing it since I don't have the exact dimension for these buildings. I just guess their sizes and hope for the best. Now, in SketchUp, you cannot push or pull curved surfaces, and there are small rounded details located on the curvy part of the body of the sentry. To make this possible, I use a plugin called Joint Push Pull, which allows you to push and pull curved objects. This is probably the most useful plugin I have ever used, since there are a lot of times where there are situations when I need to change a curved object. Next off is the barrel. The barrel has a small opening at the top which I think it's a muzzle brake. To make these shapes, I use a solid tools which are not a plugin that you need to download. It's already built in into the program itself. To summarize the function of these tool, just imagine cutting an object like a scissor. You make the first object for your original shape and the next object which is the scissor. You placed it where it intersect, and then boom, you have created a complex shape. Made a little detail on the front, a sensor and a light indicator, and moved on into making the holder thing on the side. If you are using SketchUp for your work or school, please, I cannot emphasize this enough, make sure that you make a proper grouping or components. When you're making new parts for the building, Make sure that you group it so that it's not connected to any unwanted surface. And when you want to make a symmetrical looking object, make sure to use components. Basically, whatever changes you do on the other side, it will do the same for the other. The next part is what I was worried about when making the sentry. It's the details on the leg. I was worried that I might get confused and did the sentry wrong with its placement. But to counter this, I just try to guess just by using common sense on how gears work or joint works, like a human finger on how it can bend and how far can it go. This clip was sped up but you can see that the progress is quite slow. Well, it's because I spent 70% of the time doing this. Because I was trying to figure out how can I do this and what tools to use to make this easier. And it's not like I can search a tutorial for this specific build. Oh wait, has someone already done this? Crap, please believe me. I didn't know this video existed until I finished building this entry. I was just browsing YouTube to see if someone has already done this before and it turns out that there is. So just think of it as my own version. But I will definitely make more like the guns as well from TF2. There are some parts of the building where I can't really see what's going on. So I just did what I think is correct. So yeah, that's the best I can do to recreate that specific part. But it's not a major part of the sentry so it's not that big of a deal. Oh yeah, almost forgot to mention another really important plugin which is the cleanup cube tools. It does what it says, 
clean your model from any unwanted lines that appear in your model. When you are making a complex shape in SketchUp, usually there are lines hidden within your object. For example, I made a box with a random line located inside. Make it as a group and try to use solid tools. And with the invisible line inside of the rectangle, it can cause a problem when you try to change it using solid tools. It usually says, one or more of the selected object is either not solid or is locked. So, when you use the cleanup, it will remove the lines so that you can use solid tools again. After hours and hours of making the leg, I finally finished it. Next is the material. Yeah. I don't know why it sounds like I'm complaining at materials. It's actually very easy since there's only two colors, which are the team color and black. And so, after applying the material, here it is. Oh crap, forgot to add material on this one. And there it is. Oh, come on. And now... I built that. Another satisfied customer. Ain't that a cute little gun? Woo-wee! Will you look at that? Nice going, partner. After a total amount of three hours of work, I finished it. I'm really proud the way it turns out because I've never done a mechanical build like this before. Uh, usually it's just buildings like walls or doors or furnitures. I will make more like the level 2 sentry and level 3 which has a lot more details than the one I made just now. These are going to be a pain to make but I'm still excited to do it because it's fun. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Bye! Mission begins in 30 seconds. Yeah! Hey!